they use it as, as an excuse to seize less guns. So 90% more guns out there, they sell more guns, the Mexican drug cartels get more guns, they kill more people, including our agent Brian Terry. And in that case, that was the, another smoking gun. Oh my God, our agent was killed by the guns that the ATF put out into the stream. I believed it because I didn't know there was any other evidence. They didn't present it. They didn't even stand up for themselves. Part of what makes me angry is, how am I supposed to know what the reality is? How am I supposed to share that with you if the Obama administration says, oh no, yeah, you're right, we're guilty. Ah. God damn it. All right, so uh, in the end, it turns out Brian Terry yeah, was killed by guns that they were tracking. And what the ATF agents had done was they had basically begged the prosecutors, let us arrest the guy. We had an informant at a gun dealer, a good gun dealer, who said, hey, you know what, this looks like a suspicious activity. I'm going to red flag it. And they said, can we please arrest this guy? And federal prosecutors said, no, you cannot arrest that guy because we don't know he might have the intent to use the weapons himself and not necessarily give it to the cartels. Well, in fact, of course, he had the intent to give it to the cartels. He did, and one of our agents got killed. Not because of the ATF, but in spite of the ATF. Now, the only other possibility for why Holder has done this is that he's trying to protect the god-awful federal prosecutors that are also in the Justice Department who are so scared of their own shadow, so worried about their careers, that they didn't want to prosecute uh, these cases that they definitely should have prosecuted. And if they had to throw the ATF under a bus, well, everybody was going to go along with that. The Republicans hate the ATF. And the Democrats are cowards and losers anyway. So they say, okay, all right, let's throw the ATF under the bus and pretend it was their fault when it wasn't their fault at all. And if we have to ruin those guys' careers who were trying to do the right thing, who cares? It's Washington. You see why I get upset sometimes on, about what's going on in D.C.? And with the Obama administration? And with the Republicans? And with everybody else? They take, I mean, this has been the so-called biggest scandal. We have spent years looking into this thing. And until fortune breaks the story, no one got it right, and the administration liked it unbelievable fools that they are, bowing their heads saying, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, uh-huh, party shows, uh-huh. Why didn't you put this stuff out? What? Uh, no, I give up, man, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with them, man. I, you, uh, you got a good idea, what am I saying? Okay, yeah, yeah, they're awesome. Fools, morons, I know, I'm a bad guy for using words like that. What am I supposed to call them? What was this, a genius move? Admitting to something you didn't do and causing the biggest scandal? And you know what, of course now, Republicans turning around talking about impeachment because of this. All right, forget it. Okay, uh, we got to take a break. Uh, come back, Yant.